Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you that I am doing carrots now. When people when people give you carrots, uh, I know a lot of people don't like them or to give them away or whatever. Keep them, especially if you have children. Here's what I did, okay? Um, I didn't pack them yet. I'm going to pack them. What you do is you cook your pre-cook your carrots, which means you won't have to um, process them in the canner for very long. Pre-cook your carrots. And what I did was, I usually like them sliced. Okay, I just threw them in like this. I think, I hope it'll be okay. <laughs> but um, you can slice, slice your carrots or whatever, pre-cook them. And what I did was I put maple syrup, butter, uh, molasses, cinnamon, and brown sugar in these. And man, you ought to smell what it smells like back in my office. It smells like Christmas in this place. Um, and just a tad, I put just like a little shake of... Uh, Himalayan salt. Okay, I really don't want salt in there, but I just put like a little, just a little tad. Um, and uh, cook them, cook them down. So right now they are so tender that I don't really want to cook them too much longer. So what I'll do is I'll put them in the, maybe I should use this. I'll put them in these jars. Okay, what you do is you put them in your jars. Okay. And then you add, after you get it full, after your jar is full, then you add your sauce to it. Okay? Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put them in a pressure cooker. Hot, hot, and hot. I'll put hot water in a pressure cooker. I'll get it on and popping. And um, you put them in. Since they're already cooked, you bring it up to pressure. Okay? And as soon as it starts steaming, you let it steam for 10 minutes. Then you put the weight on, which is, if I still have it with me. This little thing you put the weight on okay and only cook them since they're already cooked you only cook them I'm gonna cook them about 10 minutes on 10 pound pressure and then turn it off that is so that it can suck all the air out of the jars and do what it do right and it's you don't have to worry about botulism because the food's already cooked so 10 minutes will give it a good seal and I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm... You wipe the lids off with vinegar. Okay, this is... I wet this with vinegar. Wipe the rim of the jars off with vinegar. Especially with all of the sugar and and uh, butter in here. If you don't wipe this off and there's something on there, you won't get a good seal. Wipe it off and then place on your lids and rings. And we are heating up. I see the steam. I placed the two quarts of sweetened carrots in. And I'm going to put on the lid. And let the steam for 10 minutes. Now I put it in. Now I'm waiting to see the steam come out of there. A steady stream. It starts out spitting a little bit. But when you see a steady stream coming up out of here. Then you count 10 minutes and put your weight on. Cook it, process the food for 10 minutes, turn it off. Let it cool, open up the lid, let them sit for about five minutes, and then take the jars out. And right after I said that, you can start seeing the steam coming out. The steam's coming out a little bit at a time. Let me see if you can put it in the background so you can see it. There we go. See, the steam's coming out, but it's spitting. You want to get a steady stream. It's almost there. And this is almost coming up. Whenever this spits up, it means you have you have gone up to pressure. I don't like to turn the stove down until after we get to pressure because you don't want to confuse your jars. The only time I turn the stove down is if this thing here starts to act a little too wild and crazy. Yep, there we go. We're up to pressure. And see the steam? Now, I will put my timer on 10 minutes. Can you hear it? It's blowing. It's blowing the air out of my jars. So you give it 10 minutes to do that. Then you put your weight on, cook for 10 minutes, and then turn it off. OK, 
County down three more minutes and then I'll put the weight on. And we're in one more minute, less than a minute, I presume. Change hands so I can put this weight on. that is what you do now I will turn this off set this again for 10 minutes and cook those for 10 minutes and I forgot to add of course after the hula dance hulu dancer dances when the wait you can hear it coming the weight is beginning to jiggle once the pressure hits it yeah, you can hear the different noises. And this silver thing is up, so it means there's pressure in the cooker. And that will begin to wiggle. I'm waiting for the wiggle. It's beginning to wiggle. two minutes in. Now that is a very fast wiggle. What you could do is turn it down a little bit to adjust your wiggle. But I'm only going to have these in there for about 10 minutes anyway. But I think I'll turn them down a little. Okay, three minutes in. Turn it down. Just a tad. Just a tad. Go down. This doesn't have it like a nice gentle wiggle. If, it's, if it goes too fast like this, you could be um, evaporating the water, causing it to evaporate the water out of your uh, canner too quick. Especially if you're doing like meat for, what, 75 minutes or fish for 90 minutes, uh, you could dry out your canner. So kind of slow down that wiggle if you can, you know what I mean? I'll leave that on for a couple minutes, see if it slows down. It's not bad. That's not really bad. It's not too fast. Not extremely slow. But it could be a little slower than that, but I'm only doing six more minutes anyway, right? So, you know, today was a snowy day outside, but yet when you have the peace of the Lord in you, you still feel good, right? I still felt good, whether the sun's out or not. As long as you have the S-O-N inside, it doesn't matter whether the S-U-N is outside. <laughs> I like that. Four more minutes. I'll try to get it down to a little lower jiggle, but it's going. It's going down a teeny bit. It's almost done. One more minute. I brought it down to a nice low jiggle. Took me a minute, but I got there. I think. There we go. Turn this off. All right, now move this over to the cooler eye. I'll move this out the way. Move that over to the cooler eye and let it set until that goes back down. Let the pressure naturally go down by itself. And I'm gonna let it sit as long as it takes. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes a half an hour, hour. Just let it sit and don't try to do it the old fashioned way. Because I had one blow up on me one time. I took it out and I put it in a sink and I ran cold water over it and I didn't do it good enough and the pressure hadn't gone down. I went to try to open it and boom, it went all over my ceiling and it hit my arm and I had to go to the hospital with third degree burns. So just let it go down <laughs> naturally, okay? Okay, they're calming down now. And in a little bit, I'll be able to show you what they look like. All right. That has gone down. I took that off. No more steaming. And I will take off the lid. Oh, put it in the wrong drawer. And I will take off the lid. 
water is clean. That's a good sign. You can hear them. And that's why you let them set in for about five minutes or so. Let them get used to the air around them. So your jars won't crack or anything. You can hear them. All right, I let them sit for about five minutes or so, I think. <laughs> but that, I think we have one sealed. This one's sealed. As you can see, it's down. You can still see where the circle is, but it's down. It's not tinted up, but this one's still up like a bubble. But that means, let me take this one out. And there is our carrots. You can see them floating at the top. All of the goodness down at the bottom. The sweetness. That's why I say don't get rid of your carrots. If somebody doesn't like carrots, just tell them, say, that's okay. I'll take them. And thank you. <laughs> like I said, especially if you have kids. Because you sweeten them up. And you can them like this. Put them in jars. Can them. And you have these. Your kids will love them. Honestly, they taste like... Yeah, that one's still cooking. Still bubbling. They taste like sweet potatoes. They almost taste like sweet potatoes. I think you are going to like it. All right. Thanks for watching and God bless you. God is good.